and the fear in my soul during those moments, I can't even tell you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to participate in class when you're shy. So I was kind of on the shyer side when I was both in high school and university, and I really had to push myself to get out of that. And now I would say I'm not that way as much as I was when I was younger. I was definitely that person that when we went around the room and everybody had to read a part in a certain book in high school, I was terrified, did not wanna read in front of the class. And I was that person counting down the paragraph to see which part would end up being mine and practicing it in my head before it finally got to me. So if anybody can relate to that, I know what it's like to have that anxiety. But what I learned later in life now looking back, being able to speak up and say what's on your mind and just be more comfortable in a room of people is going to be so beneficial to you as you move through life, whether that be in school or with your career, just as you progress and get older, it becomes more and more important. So with that being said, I'll be sharing some of the tips that I use to help me kind of break out of that box when I was feeling a little bit more shy and like I didn't want to speak up, but knew that I probably should. So hopefully this video will help you out if you're in the same situation and just want to figure out how to participate in class even if you're shy. So the first step that I would say is super helpful in breaking out of your comfort zone and figuring out how to start to participate in class is to ask a question. This one I would say is probably the easiest way to participate participate in class because by asking a question, you're participating, you're looking engaged, your proper teacher is going to love that while not having to actually do too much talking because by asking a question, the teacher will be answering it and really end up doing most of the talking. You'll just have that initial part where you ask the question and then hear the answer. So I would suggest coming prepared to class with one or two questions that you already know that you're going to ask in the class and that way you're not nervous trying to come up with something on the spot. You're already prepared, which kind of helps ease that anxiety and the fear factor that comes with participating in class. I know I used to do this so much in university in those classes where participation was part of marks. I can't tell you how much this one saved me because sometimes I didn't even have anything to say and it wasn't even that I was necessarily shy. It was more I need to get participation marks but I don't have anything to add to the subject. So by asking a question is the perfect way to look engaged and participate in class even if you're nervous or afraid to do it. Another tip that will help you participate in class when you're shy is to team up with a friend. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. I'm telling you, this tactic works every time. The way you want to approach this one is two is better than one. What I mean by this is ask a friend if you guys can team up together on answering one of your teacher's questions. That way when it's two people kind of tackling the same question or commenting on the same topic, it feels more like a discussion than a one-on-one -on -one situation where everybody's just staring at you in the class and you're the only person speaking. So sometimes that can really help ease your nerves. So the way that you want to approach that is if you're commenting on something that your prof said or answering a question, you can put up your hand and start it by saying me and X person, whoever the friend is, let's say the friend is Susie. <laughs> I don't know why I picked Susie, but let's say it's you and Susie and you go, Susie and I were actually talking about this before class and I think that this, this, and this, say a quick few points, doesn't have to be super long, can be just one thought if that's all you have, and then you can pass it over to your friend, they add a thought or two, and that way it's both of you tackling the subject or the question together and just makes talking in class feel way more comfortable. Another good starting point for participating in class when you're shy is to build off what somebody else says. So sometimes it can be way easier and less nerve wracking to build off what somebody else said rather than coming up with your own thought. This is a really good one if you're afraid of sounding dumb in front of your teacher or the class, even though I can guarantee you, you won't, but this is just sometimes what goes through our minds so I know how you feel because it's gone through my mind before. So by building off what somebody else said, it really helps take the pressure off yourself and and doesn't make you feel like you have to talk as long. So for example, if you're in class and your prof is talking about, let's say, Romeo and Juliet, and I use this example because this used to give me so much anxiety in grade nine. We used to always have discussions about Romeo and Juliet and the fear in my soul during those moments. I can't even tell you. So maybe you're in the same situation, but regardless of what the topic is, I'm just giving this one as an example. So if your teacher is talking about Romeo and Juliet and opens up the floor for a discussion and somebody's saying, you know, I thought Romeo and Juliet was really tragic and really irrational and just didn't make any sense to me, you can then add on 
on to what they say and say, I agree with what whoever that person is said, or I disagree with what they said. I actually think this, this, and this. Keep it quick, short, to the point, and that way you're still saying something without having to talk too long or come up with a whole new idea. The next tip that will help you participate in class when you're shy is to write things down as they come to your mind. So during class, when your teacher or prof is talking, doing the lesson, or even other people in the class are talking, and something great pops into your head, write it down, and that way you make sure that one, you don't forget it, and two, once you write it down, you can put little points under it and really expand on what that thought is in written form so that when you want to say your thought or your idea in front of the class, you have it there written so you won't forget any of the points that you wanted to make and you won't be stumbling on your words and you can go as far as reading it if you're really really nervous there's no problem with reading a thought that you had and saying it to the class that's a great way to get started with participating and it really just helps alleviate those nerves that come when you're talking strictly from memory and then my last and final tip is to know the class material so the more you know the material for the class the more confident you'll feel in answering questions making comments or just speaking your mind and saying ideas or thoughts that come to you during the class because you'll know what you're talking about and you'll be able to add insight into the topic of the class because you know the material. So do the readings, do the homework, pay attention in class, and all of that will just help build your confidence and make you feel more prepared to speak in class and less worried about what others might think of what you have to say. Well, that's all. Those were the five tips for participating in class even when you're shy. These are tips that I used and helped me so much. And what I've realized over the years through high school, through university, and now even in my job when I have to speak up in meetings or presentations or anything like that, is that the more you build this skill, the more comfortable it becomes to you. So the first time might be super nerve-wracking, you might be so scared to speak up, but after you do that first time, you're gonna feel more comfortable and it's gonna seem easier and easier every time you do it until you get to a point where participating in class is nothing for you and you're no longer feeling too shy to do it and it just comes naturally to you. So really try to build that skill. Obviously you're trying to if you're on this video, so I hope that some of these tips work for you and if you try any of them out, comment down below and let me know which ones you tried out if it worked or not. I would love to hear from you. If you're looking for any more advice on school or just general life advice, I have two entire playlists dedicated to life advice and school advice. So I will link those down below and at the end of the video. So if you're wondering how to make friends in your online classes, how to prepare for university, how to find your place in school, I've got videos on all those kinds of things. So I will make sure to link those below if you wanna check those out too. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell for more advice and lifestyle videos. See you next time. Bye!